welcome this morning. I'm so glad that you can be here. I invite you this morning, as this service will be a little different, to engage in what happens here on the platform. Today we remember Jesus' final moments. We turn our attention, our focus, on a significant act of love. This act of love by God through a man called Jesus Christ, whose death was painful, horrendous. Jesus took our sin upon himself. The weightiness of Christ's sacrifice, his death, and the cost of this we remember today because we need not forget. As I mentioned, this service may be a bit different to what you're used to. It may seem quite dark and sad because this day is. And it's important that we feel the weight of that. But let it be an invitation. Let it be an invitation for you to be aware of what's happening around you, but also what's happening in you. As today we remember. And we're going to do that through a number of uh, readings, songs and images. And together we will share communion. Let that weight and heartache sit with you this morning. And I'm aware there's a number of families here today. You are welcome to stay in throughout the service. But at any time, maybe your little ones need to stretch their legs or have a bit of a, a walk. We've got the space uh, to your right, my left, that is open uh, for you to use today. But let us look to the screens this morning as we remember, as we reflect together on this man called Jesus.
Today we read from Mark 15, verses 1 to 15, Jesus before Pilate. Very early in the morning, the chief priests, with the elders, the teachers of the law, and the whole Sanhedrin made their plans. So they bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Are you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate. You have said so, Jesus replied. The chief priests accused him of many things. So again, Pilate asked him, Aren't you going to answer? See how many things they are accusing you of. But Jesus still made no reply, and Pilate was amazed. Now it was the custom at the festival to release a prisoner whom the people requested. A man called Barabbas was in prison with the insurrectionists who had committed murder in the uprising. The crowd came up and asked Pilate to do for them what he usually did. Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? asked Pilate knowing it was out of self-interest that the chief priests had handed Jesus over to him. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have Pilate release Barabbas instead. What shall I do then with the one you call the king of the Jews? Pilate asked them. Crucify him, they shouted. Why, what crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But But they shouted all the louder, crucify him. Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Let us pray together. Lord, we recognise today those times when in our self-interest we have rejected you. We are sorry, Lord, that we have not given you the honour you deserve. We are sorry, Lord, for choosing other things and other ways over you. We thank you today for your boundless grace and we seek your forgiveness. I ask that you look to the centre screen and uh, we're going to read together. Can you, join, can you join with us as we read all together Psalm 51 verse 1 and 2? Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, Wash Wash away away all all my iniquity and and cleanse cleanse me me from from my sin. Continuing on in Mark chapter 15, verses 16 to 26, the soldiers led Jesus away into the palace, that is the praetorium, and called together the whole company of soldiers. They put a purple robe on him, then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on him. And the they began to call out to him, Hail, King of the Jews. Again and again they struck him on the head with a staff and spit on him. Falling on their knees, they paid homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. A certain man from Cyrene, Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus, was passing by on his way in from the country and they forced him to carry the cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Then they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it and they crucified him. Dividing up his clothes, they cast lots to see what each would get. It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The written notice of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. Let us pray together. Lord Jesus, our divine King and Saviour, we recognise today our failure to heed your loving rule over our lives. We have failed to do all the things we should have done, and we have done things we should not have done. We are sorry for dishonoring your name in this way. We thank you, Jesus, for the sacrifice you made as payment for our guilt. And we come in faith to you for forgiveness. Can you join me as we read together Psalm 51, 10 to 12? Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Mark 15, 27 to 32. They crucified two rebels with him, one on his right and one on his left. 
Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, So, you who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, come down from the cross and save yourself. In the same way, the chief priests and the teachers of the law mocked him among themselves. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, this King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those crucified with him also heaped insults on him. Let us pray. Lord, we recognise today that we have not believed in you as we should. We have not trusted in your ways. We have doubted your providence and fidelity. But you always remain faithful. And while we were still sinners, Christ to die for us, we come therefore and we offer to you our broken hearts that you might restore us according to your grace. Can you join with me as we read all together Psalm 5117? My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, you, God, will not despise. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing near heard this, they said, listen, He's calling Elijah. Someone ran, filled a sponge with wine vinegar, put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus to drink. Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to take him down, he said. With a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom And when the centurion who stood there in front of Jesus saw how he had died, he said, surely this man was the son of God. Let's pray. We give thanks to you, our God, for what you did in Jesus Christ. For you loved the world, O Lord, that you gave your one and only son, that whoever believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. And we thank you for making a way of salvation for us so that we could be forgiven and restored and so that we can now live with you for all of eternity. How great is your faithfulness and your love. Let's uh, say these words together from Psalm 51 and verse 15. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. Thank you those who read this morning. I'm going to now invite you to please stand as our team lead us in a beautiful hymn called When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. Let us sing together.
In a minute, we will share communion together, and I invite you to do that. You'll be able to come forward, but also at the back of the chapel, there'll be the elements as well. We encourage you in this time to go back to your seats. Uh, You may sit there and uh, reflect, and our team will be also singing another song. You may want to stand or you may want to kneel. That is your choice. I'm going to uh, just read with what Jesus encouraged us to do is share communion. And He is the host. Our Lord Jesus, in the same night that He was betrayed, He took the bread and He gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to His disciples saying, Take it, eat. This is my body which is given to you. Do this in remembrance of me. And we take the cup. In the same way after supper, He took the cup and when He had given thanks, He gave it to them saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. I encourage you now to stand. And I invite you to come forward, or like I mentioned, to go to the back as our team lead us in this time. Let's share communion together.
If you haven't already, let us eat and drink together. We're now going to uh, watch the screens. And there was a prophecy from Isaiah 53. Over 600 years before Jesus walked the earth. He lived among us. And the prophecy from Isaiah points to the future the promised Messiah, a suffering servant who is rejected and becomes God's sacrifice, an atonement for the sins of all of humanity.
Surely he took our infirmities And carried our sorrows And carried our grief Yet we deemed him stricken Afflicted by God But he was pierced For our transgressions And he was crushed for our We all like sheep have gone astray Each of us has turned to his own way But the Lord has laid on him The sin of us all Yes, the Lord has Laid on him the sin of us all. Well, thank you this morning for joining with us as we remember together. And I encourage you to continue to do that throughout this day. I'm going to uh, pray and uh, just speak a benediction. But we look forward to as well seeing you on Sunday as we celebrate the resurrected Christ. Please stand with me this morning. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you peace. Go in peace on this day. Grace and peace to you all.